Hello, loves. Top of the morning to ya. There it is. Happy St. Patty's Day. Irish blessings. I'm holding that. Hello, loves. Do you like this hat? I was trying to make it look into a baker's hat. Isn't this a hoot nanny? It's my little Irish nod. Irish baker's chef's nod. There it is, loves. I know. It's hilarious. Welcome. Hi, Melody. How are you? Happy St. Patty's Day. Welcome. Irish blessings to you all, sweethearts. Fabuloso. So we're going to cook in the green Irish hat today. Here it is. I, I'm trying to keep my hair back, love, so it's tricky. I try to keep it back so it doesn't get in anything. There we go. Hi, Dr. Lars. <laughs> Lars is watching from upstairs. He's teaching. Um, Mama Lamberti is here. This is my hat. This is my Irish hat. It's my baking hat. That's what we're going to do today because today we are doing Irish soda bread. Here it is. We already have a finished product. As you see, it's been eaten. So it's fabuloso. Look at that. Gorgeous Irish soda bread with raisins, not with currants, because we didn't have any, so we're just making do with what we have. Hi, Nancy. Welcome. Happy St. Patty's Day. Uh, and as promised, later tonight, we're going to sing Danny Boy. Uh, Dr. Lars and I, we were teaching uh, voice and um, lessons all day online. So this is coming in between our lessons. So tonight, we're going to serenade you all with Danny Boy. So welcome to our Irish soda bread. It's gonna be a pretty quick one today, guys. This is a really fast bread, really fantastic, great recipe that my mom has had in her files for quite a long time. I made this this morning, whipped it up very, very quickly, baked for about an hour, and the key to this that I've added, because I learned it from the Barefoot Contessa, Ina Garden, is orange zest. As you see, I've used it. I only had one orange, so I'm gonna zest as much as I can but I used it this morning and the bread was fabulous. So hi, Kim Stalker, happy St. Patty's Day, loves. So I'm gonna tell you, these are the ingredients. It is, so you have it right here, my fabulous card index. We bake at 400, so I have the oven preheating to 400. Mm -hmm. We use, or 40 minutes, for 40 minutes. But you know, until it's finished, everyone's ovens are different. So we have four cups of sifted all-purpose flour, uh, one tablespoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of baking soda, one cup of dried currants or raisins, we're using raisins today, and one and a half cups of buttermilk. Now here's the thing, I didn't have any buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, many people don't have it. If you can't get out and get it, this is what we do. We take a cup and a half of regular milk. It can be vitamin D milk, it can be low fat milk, whole milk, whatever you have. Then we add a tablespoon and a half of white vinegar. We had white vinegar. You can also use lemon juice or apple cider vinegar. Any vinegar will work. You add that into the milk and you let it sit for five to 10 minutes and it starts to curdle. And it works perfectly if you don't have buttermilk. So it's really fantastic. So let's get started, loves. I'm gonna show you now what we're gonna do is we're going to start with sifting the flour. And I have the flour right here over near, here near me. I'm gonna do it right from the flour container. Here we are, grazie mamma. So here we go. Four cups of flour sifted. We're also gonna put all the other dry ingredients in there as well, loves. So it's gonna be four cups. Get in there, you want a really good cup measurement. And I'd go like this, I scrape it off with the knife. So do it like that, and then I sift two cups. Hi, Kelly! There's Kelly Shea, the fabulous Irish chef watching me, making me nervous watching, making Irish soda bread. <laughs> Since I don't make this stuff a lot, I don't bake a ton. I mean, I love to bake, but I don't do it a lot. I'm just sifting the flour. I know Kelly, uh, when he bakes, it's all by weight. And that's what most professional bakers do. It's all by weight because it's much more easy to be exact with that as when you do it with weights. I know when I worked for a baker, we did everything uh, with weights. And it is much more exact and you do get, a, I think, a better final product. But we're doing it old school way. Hi, Oksana. Hi, Franny. How are you, loves? Happy St. Patty's Day. I'm in my Irish hat. My Irish hat. It's hilarious. So there's three cups. I'm getting there, guys. Now we're on the fourth cup of flour. So we'll just be four cups of all-purpose flour sifted. And then we'll add the other dry ingredients. We add a tablespoon of sugar. Tablespoon of sugar, loves. Here we go. Right in. Boom, boom a teaspoon and a half of salt. How are you all doing today, loves? Hanging in there, put the salt right in. That's the half, and here's the teaspoon. 
It's a very simple, um, I think that's right, I'm just making sure. One and a half teaspoons of salt, that's it. Boom, right in, sweethearts. And then also one teaspoon of baking soda. Here we go, loves. Have it all out for you. It's actually a very simple recipe. Um, teaspoon of baking soda, boom. All of that is in. I think that's all the dry ingredients. So we're sifting that all through here now, loves. We're gonna have that all beautifully sifted. Sifted, and this is my old time sifter. Love it, love it. You need to start your own YouTube channel and write a cookbook. <laughs> that's it, sweetheart. I would love a cookbook. I think that'd be great fun. Great fun. And I'm gonna put a little bit of orange zest in. I don't have much left, guys. I only had one orange and I used it in the final product from this morning, but it really made a difference. I actually learned that from uh, watching Ina Garden. Uh, so I did put a little bit of uh, orange zest. I don't have a lot in, but I'll just use the rest from what I have here. It makes it citrusy. I don't think I'd use any other citrus besides the orange. I think orange is best. I wouldn't do lemon or lime. I think the orange is the best thing to use for sure. Kelly, are you chiming in here? Because um, I know you have beautiful Irish soda bread that you make as well. And I'm not sure what your recipe is. I know there's a lot of different ones. This recipe, loves, is quite low fat. We don't use any butter and we use no eggs and no oil. It's just the dry ingredients and the buttermilk. That is it. And then I'm going to stir it with a spoon, a wooden spoon, and then put it out onto a, uh, you knead it actually right in the bowl just mm -hmm. 10 times. And the, what's wrong? No, just checking the milk. Yeah, the, the milk. The milk is, is, okay. is curdled. Okay. The milk is curdled. It's a cup and a half. Yep, looks good. Yeah. Looks good. So here we go. Cup and a half of milk gloves. And we put it right in. Yes. See, it's curdled. We can <laughs> see that. It's hard to see on here, but it's curdled for sure. Now we just stir it up. Oh my God. You oh. know what I didn't do. Oh, no! Right. No! <laughs> a cup of raisins! Don't worry. Don't worry. No worries. No worries. See, this is what happens. This morning it was fine, live, I forgot. I know, Kel, you were looking at me like raisins, raisins. So what we do is we're gonna put a cup of raisins in, but you have to um, sprinkle them with flour so they don't sink to the bottom. That's the whole key. And so see, they're evenly distributed through the bread. No butter, no eggs is very traditional. Okay, thank you. Hi, Madison. Hi, sweethearts. So I floured our raisins. There we go. They're going right in, sweethearts. Cup of raisins. And now we just stir to combine. It's very, very simple, loves. It's a very sticky dough. So raisins are only optional. Okay, sweetheart, so they're only optional. So maybe the traditional didn't have currants or raisins. Okay, so we're just getting this all together with the spoon just to mix it up. And then I'll knead it 10 times, it said, sort of 10 passes with my hands well floured hands it says so there we go maybe a little, little more flour just to flour my hands i'm going to sort of use one hand to do it with and we'll flour it flour my hands and here we go so i'm just going to knead it in the bowl so then when i put it out onto the baking sheet then it'll be ready to go here we go it's a very sticky loose dough it's interesting, every time you make it, it feels different. Because it doesn't even feel as sticky as it did this morning. <laughs> Go figure. Go figure. So here we are. What, Mama? I think you're a little scant on the I was scant on the milk, Mother says. Um, so little, we're putting little. a little bit in. But that's baking, guys. You know, that's how it goes. So you never know. Every time you bake, yeah, it's a different story. So... Depends on humidity. Depends on the humidity. It depends on a lot of things. And you have to be very exact. That's why I tend to like cooking much better than baking. <laughs> and as Kelly would say, when, you're, when you measure it and you weigh it, actually, with uh, grams, ounces, and you use a scale, it's a lot better. There you go. Yeah, and That's actually need more milk. Yeah. Um, even though I did have exactly a cup and a half. The meniscus wasn't Yeah, okay. And... Um, there we go, sweethearts. So it's trying to come together. I don't know, I'm finding it much drier than this morning. I have no reason for that, except that we're on live TV and that's the reason. <laughs> so what you do is you put it onto a floured baking sheet, a little bit of flour, sweethearts, and you just form it into a ball. See, it's much drier. Much drier, don't ask us why. So what I do is I'm gonna form it into a round much as I can. 
I don't know why it's dry. I think it's because the raisins, we put flour on them, actually. Hi, Annie Lynn. How are you, sweetheart? That could be. That could be. We, we floured the raisins this morning. I put them right into the dry, and then we didn't flour them. So it's a little bit drier. So we'll see how this turns out, sweethearts. It's all good. We just form it into a nice round loaf, much as you can. It is much drier, though. I'll tell you that, loves. <laughs> see how it turns out. Flour. Then we cut across the floured knife. with a floured knife across right here. Maybe I'm not sure I'm doing it correctly, but that's how I did it this morning. It turned out pretty nicely. Cut it pretty deeply. Just be careful of your fingers, loves. Cut it pretty deeply so you get that really beautiful cross sort of opening when you bake it. And that, hi, Joey. Hi, loves. How's it looking, Kelly? I know it's drier than this morning. Way drier than this one. <laughs> see how it opens up when you have the cross? We've eaten part of it, as you see. It's delicious warm with some butter. That's the key. Fantastic. So now, loves, here it is. It's much drier. Don't know what to say. Hi, Anne. How are you? Oh, Chef Anne. Chef Anne, brilliant chef. Cross lets the fairies out according to the legend. Thank you, Kelly. Uh -huh. So the cross lets the fairies out of the bread. <laughs> Dig that hat, Sissy Chrissy, I know, in honor of our St. Patty's Day. Um, hi, Anne. How are you, sweetheart? Thanks, Kel. That's a great thing to know. So the cross lets the fairies out of the bread. And then we bake it at 400 for about 40 minutes or so until it's finished. And then I'm going to put it in the oven right now because I've had it preheating. Boom. It's going in. It's in love. So in 40 minutes, we'll have some fresh, fabulous bread. It ends up looking like this. Fantastic. I love the orange zest in it. It really made a big difference. Let's see how the next one turns out. I'll take a photo of it. Hi, my loaves just came out. Hi, Ann. Oh, great. You just made it today. Fantastic. Ann is a brilliant chef in San Francisco oh, hi, that my sister and that uh, Joe worked with in a be a fantastic restaurant. Woo! I remember the lavender. lavender honey roasted chicken. It was called what? Cafe, Cafe Cuvée? No, I'm sorry, sweetheart. I'm sorry, Anne, if I'm messing it up. Um, it's when I actually lived in San Francisco and sang at the opera. It was a fantastic restaurant. Had the greatest food. Um, and maybe it was the name. Sorry if I'm messing it up. <laughs> We've worked in so many places. Uh, but thanks for joining me today. I'm sure your loaves are delicious. So take some pictures, loves, of all of your Irish food if you're having that today. I know Kelly had some fabulous um, uh, potatoes and you had not corned beef, love, you had a bacon that you did, that you did and smoked yourself, it looked fantastic. So that is it. So that was a fast one today, loves. Cafe Cuvée, you're right. It was Cafe Cuvée, okay. It. it was Cafe Cuvée that, that Anne uh, yeah. ran, fantastic. Yeah, so just want you, to see our soda bread. I hope it comes out just as beautifully as this one did. Mm, enjoy the day. Lars and I will be live tonight. It's gonna be a little bit later, probably 7.30. I'll put it on my Facebook page. I always add a bit of water to the buttermilk oh. container to add moisture. Oh, okay, Thank sweetheart. You. Oh, good. Thanks for letting me know. Oh, yeah, I think every recipe is different. It's strange. This morning it was wet. Hi, sissy. Allie's on the line. Hi, sweetheart. Today it was much wetter dough. My hands were sticking to it and now it's dry. That honey lavender recipe was insanely good. Yes, honey lavender chicken <laughs> off the chain. I love lavender in food. Not too much, you don't want it to taste soapy, but a little hint of lavender in desserts. Um, I think in chicken, it is just brilliant. It's so beautiful tasting. I know I had a lavender latte oh. at this place in Belvedere, New Jersey called King's Gambit New Coffee Place in Belvedere, which is fantastic. And they had a great lavender Earl Grey latte, oh, yes. actually, and it was beautiful. They had the lavender flowers right on top. Fabulous, it was just delicious. Hi, Kelly Planner, how are you, sweetheart? So I promise we're singing tonight. Actually, Lars is upstairs now working on it. Uh, we're gonna do it with guitar and voice, so we'll be singing Danny Boy tonight. But I hope you're all well. I hope you're all hanging in there with everything that's going on. Um, you know, let me know what's happening. Let me know what recipes you'd like to see. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, sweetheart. I appreciate it. I wish you were here. You cooked together. Once all this uh, is finished and we are back in, uh, we're able to visit one another again. I'm going to have a lot of guests on my show. <laughs> I have a good friend of mine, Jen, who wants to make pierogies. And of course, Chef Kelly would be fantastic. And we can make uh, tons of different things together. I think it'll be great. So... It'll be fabulous. So wish you all a beautiful St. Patty's Day. Have a great one. And I'm going to see you live tonight for our Danny Boy special tonight, later this evening. 
Um, we're going to serenade you with that, sweetheart. So thank you for joining me with my fabulous soda bread. Make some. It's really simple. Hi, Sarah. Hi, love. So enjoy. Have a beautiful, beautiful day. Kisses, sissy. Baci a tutti. Have a wonderful day. We love you. Take care. Mama says hi. Mama says, Mama la Beresi says ciao. Okay, ciao, ciao.